folks, I'm UltraZilla, and today I have a review of the Dasim model Tom and Jerry, or the Tom and Jerry, uh, as the box says, which is just a uh, logo appropriation, uh, since this is a third-party company that did it. Yes, this is an unlicensed product, um, but one that I had to have because I was such a huge Tom and Jerry fan as a kid, and I, I would say... I'm still a huge Tom and Jerry fan now. Um, and my son's become a Tom and Jerry fan, which is nice as well. So this was definitely something I wanted to have. You don't get uh, Tom and Jerry figures all that often. So third party or not. And, you know, I, I dabble in third party every once in a while. So um, this is definitely one that I needed to have. I uh, just wanted to also say um, the uh, one of the famous directors of Tom and Jerry, uh, Gene uh, Deitch, uh, uh, if I said that right, I'm sorry. If I said that wrong, I'm sorry. Um, uh, passed away recently, so um, rest in peace. Thank you for giving me so many memorable moments as a kid. Um, that's, you know, it made me think I really wanted to do this review soon. Uh, just because I got to give Tom and Jerry some love. So thank you, and let's get to it. For accessories, Tom comes with two extra pairs of hands. You got some menacing hands and you got some some holding hands, as you see there. Then you got one special hand where he's holding Jerry, uh, and that looks really, <laughs> really fun. Uh, Jerry looks really cute in it. He's much smaller. This is probably the proper scale as opposed to the way they are here. Um, this is definitely the right scale. And if you want to, oops, sorry, Jerry, uh, take that off. You take that out from there. And that's not what you do. Um, you would have to take this part out. And then pop that in. And yeah, that works. That is the perfect scale for Tom and Jerry. While Jerry doesn't come with any uh, extra sets of hands. He comes with uh, a pair of folding arms, which, and this one is a little outside, you can actually see it. Um, you have to disattach the joint at the shoulder, kind of like how Revoltech joints kind of come apart. You disattach that and then you put this new pair of arms into the joints that already exist. It's very odd, but it works. We get one extra head for Jerry. He's got a nice little smirk on his face. Everything looks pretty decent on this face. I think the features look good. Very nicely done, actually. I like it. Sculpt is good. Paint is fine. And we get two for Tom. This is a very happy face. I do dig that one. Really nice. I like the eyes a lot. Very well sculpted and painted. Mouth looks good. Whiskers, nose. Again, really great sculpt. And then this more mean face. I think they really nailed Tom, man. I really do. More so than Jerry. These faces just look great. This is a very well-known face. He's very mean and happy with his work. <laughs> I love it. It looks fantastic. You get one bat here, just done in yellow. Looks like a wiffle ball bat. Probably is. Uh, now, to put in any of these hands, I would suggest warming these up because uh, it's not going to be going in there forcefully. So uh, definitely heat up your hands and then you can put in the bat. You get one well done mousetrap. You, you know, it's very simple, but it works. I mean, it doesn't work. Well, it kind of works, actually. You can open it a little bit. <laughs> uh, so there you go. Silver, brown. You get a piece of cheese here to uh, lure Jerry out by the smell. And finally, you get one bowl of milk with a straw for Tom, which is great. But also, um, if you've seen, there's a really great um, video out there uh, with a dad uh, and the kid. And the dad has the straw in his hand and the milk there. And then he's kind of playing with the TV, you know, playing with Tom here where he like sucks up all the milk and then blows it in his face. It's really great. You should check it out if you haven't. It really, uh, really puts a smile on your face in these hard times. So articulation on Jerry, head is on a ball joint. 
the arms swivel and they hinge outward, nothing in the waist. There is joints in the thighs, uh, but you're not getting a ton of range of motion. You can have them almost sitting down. You can have them sitting down. And then there's ball joints here at the feet, and this one likes to come out a lot. This one, not so much. Uh, but that's all the articulation you get on Jerry. Tom, on the other hand, has a little bit more. He has a hinge at the neck. So it goes back and forth, and then you can move it around. That is a ball joint there. But that hinge is interesting. And then hinge swivel at the shoulders. See that? And then a double jointed elbow. But you're not getting a ton of motion out of it. And then a hinge at the wrist. You can swivel that around. He can do full split, kicks that much, goes back a bit, and drop down joint. How about that? Swivel there as well. Single joint at the knee, and then a ball jointed foot so you could get rocker and all that jazz. But the drop down joint at the uh, thighs, that's pretty impressive. And a little addendum to the articulation section. Both Tom and Jerry have uh, articulated tails. Jerry is better. He's got a hinge and a swivel for the tail. And uh, Jerry's got a little bit of articulation here. It is on a really tight ball joint. So maybe, maybe it's not. No, it is. It definitely moves. So a little bit of movement there. A lot more movement with Tom. Taking a look at Jerry in full. The proportions look good. Again, it's not going to really scale completely well. But I think it's pretty good. I like uh, the way... They sculpted the figure. It looks, it looks Jerry-ish. The, the face could be a little bit better. I see what they're going for, but it's probably not the face I would have chosen, especially when you gave us the other face where he's just not looking like straight ahead. So I would have preferred something more neutral than this, but it works well enough. The only thing I can say is there's like these seam lines right at his cheeks that could be a little bit better. Uh, but everything is painted fine. It's just not my preferred face for Jerry. It's like, that's why I'm saying Tom, I think overall came out a little bit better. Um, but the body is fine. You can just get some paint here at the belly and it looks good. Uh, but overall, you know, it works for Jerry. All right, taking a look at Tom. Like I said, I think he looks pretty good. This face is very, very good. Love it. Absolutely love it. Very, very nicely done. He's got the seam line on his cheeks, uh, again, where it's all glued in. That could be a little bit better. Kind of reminds me of the way, like, Jax does, like, certain, like, World of Nintendo type figures. Um, the comp there isn't so bad here. Uh, it's that kind of quality of figure, like a Tomy, um, as well, you know, like how they would do, like, the Pokemon figures. Kind of reminds me of that type of quality, if you're thinking about getting these. Um, but overall, I think it's really good. I like the little tuft of hair there and here. The ears look good. The mouth looks very well done, very nicely painted. Uh, and the body is pretty good. He's got some scuff marks, but uh, when I initially uh, got this pair, I you know, opened it with Ultra Zill Jr. We played around with it a little bit. It definitely scuffed up pretty quickly. I don't know what it was up against, but a little bit of scuffing going on. That was not there when I opened up the package. But it happened, like, right away. Um, you know, just to note that. The hands look fine. The feet look fine. A little bit of fur. It's not, like, you know, completely polished. If you look at the feet there, it's kind of messy. Um, but it's fine. It works okay. I like the little, yeah, I like, I like the little fur at the bottom there of both the legs and the arms. Looking pretty good. I think the tail is very nice. Uh, and the proportions are really good. This is a very nice looking Tom figure. So there you go. Both of them look really good. I think Tom is the better one, but yeah, they both look cool. For your size comparisons, here's Tom and Jerry with some figures you might have in your collection. And my final thoughts, it's not a perfect set, but it's good enough. I really, really like it. So I'm very glad that uh, this company, Dash & Model, put it out. Third party or not, it is very, very cool. I got mine on eBay. I don't know of its availability at this point anymore, but you can certainly check. Um, it was about 40 bucks uh, when I purchased this sometime last year. Um, so, you know, if you find it for that price, that's the right price. And uh, you should pull the trigger, especially if you're a Tom and Jerry fan. It's very, very cool. 
Alright guys, that's my review. Hope you dug it. Let me know your thoughts below and if you could please like, comment, subscribe, and share. Check me out on Facebook or Instagram. Stay safe. Till next time. Peace out, peeps.